watch this thing. It's gone. Oh my. Oh yeah. Let's go for 400. Wow. That was impressive right there. Going after it. Playing that big power fade, and that is massive. It's gone out of sight. Rory at four. Buckle up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? Silliness. Hold on. This hole is 477 yards, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourself in. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, and he likes it too. It means it's good. Oh, it's beyond that. Here we go. Oh man. <laughs> okay, he might as well go. Unbelievably in. good. Just go in. Just go in. Oh. It's just plain obscene. Would you like to be able to swing it as fast and hit it as far as a tour pro? Yes, please. Well, what if I told you that you can? and that you don't need to be blessed with the natural hip speed of Rory McIlroy or to spend three hours a day in the gym like Brooks Koepka. All you actually need is one of these. Are you wearing a skirt? Technically, it's not actually a skirt. It's a tea towel because obviously I didn't have a skirt and I wasn't going to go buy one just to make this video. Okay, this is getting a little weird. So what am I on about? Oh, God, nearly disgraced myself. Hold on. This tea towel is not actually the best fit. What am I about? I'm talking about female tour pros. I know what you're thinking, great, I came here to learn how to hit it like Brooks Kepka, and now Rob is standing there in a kind of tea towel skirt banging on about women's golf. What good does that do me? Well, how about the fact that the average female tour pro swings it at about 94 miles per hour, which is probably a lot closer to your swing speed than you are to Brooks Kepka or any of the male tour pros. Now, I know there's going to be people right now furiously typing, well actually, my swing speed is 164 miles an hour and I hit my pitching wedge 842 miles. Um, and if that is the case, then like, fantastic, good for you. But obviously, you're not average. And if you already hit it as far as a tour pro, then what are you doing watching this video about how to hit it as far as one? For the rest of us, 93.4 miles an hour is the average swing speed with a driver for the average male amateur. Some of us will be a bit quicker than that, some people will be a bit slower, but generally, we're gonna be a lot closer to the female tour pros than we are to the male tour pros who average 113, 114 miles an hour. What about the fact that the average carry distance for a driver on the LPGA Tour is 218 yards, on the PGA Tour is 275 yards, so the vast majority of us are gonna be a lot closer to that LPGA Tour carry distance than we are to the PGA Tour carry distance. And then there's the courses that they play. So female tour events are held on courses that are normally kind of between about 6,200 and 6,500 yards, which are a lot closer to the yardage that most of the courses that we play are than the guys on tour who are playing the courses that are between sort of 7,000, 7,200 up to 7,500 yards. So do you see what I'm getting at here? Female tour pros, they swing at the same speed as us, they hit at the same distance as us, and they play the same length courses as us. And yet they shoot the lights out, regularly shooting kind of mid to low 60s, whereas the average male amateur handicap is 15, meaning that most people are happy to kind of shoot 85 or break 90. So if you're looking for someone to copy or for a bit of inspiration, why would you look at the men who in pretty much every respect are playing a completely different game to you? Realistically, if you're an average male amateur, you're never gonna swing it as fast as the vast majority of PGA Tour pros, but you're already swinging it as fast or perhaps you know not quite as fast or even a bit faster than an LPGA Tour player, and yet the chances are they're scoring a hell of a lot better than you. So you can look at them and work out what they're doing that you're not, which isn't all about swing speed, which is you know, quite a difficult thing to increase. Look at them and work out, actually, okay, what can I learn from them? So that is the point of this video. By the way, the video is mainly obviously aimed at male amateur golfers um, because 99.9% of the people that watch my videos are male. And I imagine that the three females watching probably turned off pretty quickly when they saw me in a tea towel mini skirt anyway. We're out of here. So I've been lucky enough in the last few years to play with a few female tour pros, including Charlie Hole and Henny Zool. 
and I hit it way past them off the tee, but they outscored me comfortably, like it wasn't even close. So I'm gonna give you a few things that I think us amateur males can learn from the women's game to help us improve. The first one is that the women get the most they can from the swing speed that they have. Now, you may have heard that to hit your drives as far as possible, you need to hit up on the ball with a positive angle of attack. But what you may or may not know is that on the PGA Tour, um, the average guy doesn't actually do that. The average angle of attack on the PGA Tour is actually 1.3 degrees down. The reason for that is that they swing so fast, they don't actually need to maximize distance. Like they're happy to hit slightly down, even though obviously they're missing out on some yards because it helps them increase accuracy. And most of them hit a little fade now for that same reason and hitting down slightly helps that. The women on the other hand, who obviously are only swinging it at kind of 94 miles an hour, don't have that luxury where they can afford to sort of waste a load of yards. So the average angle of attack on the LPGA Tour is three degrees up. So what's interesting here is, as I said, female tour pros swing it pretty much exactly the same speed as male amateurs, and yet female tour pros carry it on average 218 yards, whereas the average total distance for amateurs is 214 yards. The point here is that if you're hitting down on your driver, you're leaving yards on the table. So if you're someone who's got like an immense swing speed and you don't really need to kind of maximize your distance and you're happy to kind of sacrifice some distance to gain a bit of accuracy, that's fine. But if you're an amateur with an average swing speed who doesn't hit the ball as far as you'd like, you could gain 20 to 25 yards just by changing your angle of attack without increasing your swing speed. Now, obviously, I'm not a golf professional, so I'm not gonna start giving you tips on how to change your angle of attack, but if you hit down on the ball and you'd like to hit it further, go and book a lesson with a pro who's got a launch monitor um, and get them to help you change that angle of attack and you might be surprised by just how much further you can hit it, like I said, without swinging it any faster. And if you've got no idea whether you hit up or down on it, again, get on a launch monitor and find out. Now, the second thing that I've learned from watching female golf is that you don't need to hit it 300 yards to be able to score well. So a few years ago, I played a nine hole match against Charlie Hole at Woburn, and I probably hit it 30 or 40 yards past her off every tee. Ooh. You're hard, showing off. And she absolutely wiped the floor with me. Now I know that strokes gain says that driving is the most important part of the game and there's no substitute for distance and that kind of stuff and that's all fine, but distance alone doesn't win you any prizes unless you're in the world long drive, in which case it definitely does. But yeah, if you can't reach any of the greens at your club in regulation, it's gonna be hard for you to score really well and obviously it's gonna be easier if you're hitting a pitching wedge into greens rather than a four iron. But these women are averaging 218 yards carry off the tee. So let's say even if that's 240 yards in total, um, depending on the conditions. And the average score on the LPGA Tour is under 72. And the best players are averaging 69. And don't forget, like I said before, they're playing courses that are pretty much the same length that we're playing. It's not like they're playing, you know, your course from the red tees and it's only 5,000 yards. So if you think that the only reason that you can't score well is that you don't hit it far enough, these women show that actually you might be barking up the wrong tree. I don't know why I keep moving the camera just to sort of stop it just being in one place the whole time, but all I've done is rotate it kind of 90 degrees each time. And now that we've got the fridge and some dog biscuits as the background. Um, a third thing I've noticed is that the female tour pros have absolutely ridiculously good short games. If you watch a bit of women's golf on TV, which I'd recommend doing, um, you'll realise that their short games are just as good, if not better, than the guys on the European and PGA Tour. I know it's important to hit the ball well from tee to green, but that is a lot harder to improve than it is to improve your short game. You know, you can spend time hitting ball after ball on the range, and if you're completely honest with yourself, Sometimes it's hard to tell if you're actually getting any better or not, and you might do that for months and not get any better. Whereas, in my opinion, the time that you spend practicing your chipping, putting, pitching, it almost always does make you better. And there isn't really anything stopping you from getting like in a red hot short game that's almost as good as a tour pro, whereas you're probably never gonna have a long game that's as good as Brooks Kepka. So what I'm saying here is if the time that you're spending working on your long game isn't actually making you any better, and be honest with yourself, um, then either spend that time practicing your short game, or go and see a coach, get some lessons, to make sure that that time that you are spending on your long game is actually making you better. 
And the fourth and final thing that I've noticed from watching women's golf is that they hit fairways. Again, I know that strokes gain says that distance is more important than accuracy, but I do think that applies more if you're hitting it over 300 yards than if you're not. Like the women can't just sort of bomb it down there and knock a wedge out of the rough like you see week in, week out on the PGA Tour. And if they're gonna be hitting a longer club in, then they'd much rather be doing that from the fairway than from the rough, because that makes it easier. That's what the fairway is there for. That's why your average LPGA Tour player hits 71% of fairways compared to 62% on the PGA Tour. There are 11 women averaging over 80% of fairways this season on the LPGA Tour, whereas the most accurate man on the PGA Tour is at 75%. So what I'm saying here is stop hitting your ball miles offline because you're trying to knock the skin off it. Keep it in play and you almost certainly will score better. Now there's probably loads of other stuff that I haven't thought of that you could learn from the women's game. So if you can think of anything, let me know in the comments down below and hopefully that might be useful for other people reading those comments. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the stuff that I've included. And yeah, why not watch some women's golf? The Women's British Open is on right now, so from Thursday through to Sunday. If you can, you can get down to Woburn and it's only 25 quid um, for a ticket and under 16s go free. So if you're anywhere nearby and you've obviously got like an afternoon or a day spare, I would completely recommend going to watch that. Now, before we finish the video, I've got to quickly do the draw for the um, giveaway competition thing in my last video, which was to win a place at the Tour Golf Network Golf Day um, to play with myself and Liam. So let's jump on the laptop and do a quick random comment picker thing. Get the URL, whack it in there, get YouTube comments, start raffle and pick random winner. There they all go. Winner, Ben Hensley. Um, I've definitely recognised your name, Ben, so happy days. You are coming to play with me and Liam in about, well, under three weeks' time. Uh, hope you're happy about that. Um, email me heyrobmagar at gmail.com um, and obviously, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Everybody else, thank you as always for watching. Um, let me know what you thought of the video down below. And also let me know your driver swing speed, not for a giveaway or anything, I'm just interested. Um, and I'll see you in the future.